Hey guys, it's the Ross Vlogs here. So this is going to be my first um, craft beer review. Um, so today I'm going to review one of the beers I got out of my Honest Brew delivery. Um, it's the one that I told you I was pretty excited about. One of the ones I was pretty excited about. It's the Crooked Stave. Um, Sour Rose, well ill fermented in oak with raspberries and blueberries. The Artisan Beer Project. Yep, so I'm going to get in about this in a minute, so before I get into it, um, I'll just check out what the... Yep, it's 4.5%, so it shouldn't be too boozy or too heavy. Hopefully that means it's going to be... You drink a few of them, in which case I'll need to go and order some more. Yeah, um, so, like I said, that's the can there. Nice kind of light artwork on it. Um, like I said, I've had one of these Crooked Stave beers before. Well, not these ones, but I've had one of their, sour, their sours before. It was like a big bottle and it was like, uh, I don't have the bottle with me. Um, of course, buy. But um, yeah, it was like 25 quid for the bottle. And this wasn't as expensive. This was like maybe five pounds odds um, with all this brew. So yeah, let's get cracking. Oh. Got a bit of a fizz up there. That's fine. Yep, yeah, so let's get this pour, see how the colour this comes in it. Alright, okay. So, as a sour, you could imagine it would come in at the kind of colour um, of the kind of fruits it's mentioned. It's a lot more um, bubbly and fizzy, and carbonated for a sour. Normally sours are quite flat. So, yeah, this is definitely an interesting one. Um, so, yeah, so kind of nice rose, uh, rose kind of colour, um, really crisp looking, no, a wee bit of haze on it, yeah, so, got a nice smell, oh that's interesting, yep, so you can actually really get, smell the kind of Rose it, rose it off, of, off of it, which is really strange because I don't even know how to explain it, but it's it's there. You can definitely get the raspberries. The raspberries is quite prominent. The blueberries kind of comes in at the back of it. That smells really good. I'm really excited to taste this. So yeah, we get on at this. Cheers. Oh, okay. So, first, um, first thoughts. And then it goes on the tongue. You get the flavours. You get the raspberry. You get the blueberry. Um, it's quite tart, but not too tart. So the point where it's too much. That's a really nice sour. Um, again, Crooked Stave have just absolutely nailed it with this. Um, it's really good. It's crisp. Doesn't linger. In and out, and it's really good. Yeah. So, you could definitely drink a lot of them. That's really good. Do you know? It kind of makes you think that would be a, like a really good like um, like festival beer. Like you could take this away at a festival, and you could drink just a good couple of cans of it because it's nice, it's light, it's crisp, it's fruity, and really flavorful. So. I don't think you would get sick of drinking this really quick, uh, quickly, but yeah, that's that's so good. I'm genuinely really impressed with that. Um, I said my Northern Monk glass. Let me see the design of it. But yeah, so this is kind of got me excited now for the other. Um, Crooked Stave beers I got in that same order. I don't think they'll be as flavourful as that because again these are this is a raspberry and blueberry um, well fermented beer. But I'm I'm just I can't go over just how fizzy and carbonated it is. It does say on the can that it's sour, uh, bubbly and elegant, and that's exactly what it is. Um, had to get it away from it. It does exactly. Oh sorry, it says crisp as well. It literally does everything that it says on the can. Which is really good. Most things don't usually hit home that much, but 
I'm really blown away by this. Yeah. Well, I'm going to enjoy re drinking the rest of this. And if I was to rate it um, out of 10, I'd probably give that a solid. A solid nine, actually, just because that's definitely one of the best sours I've ever drank. That's stupidly good. But yeah, so, till next time, cheers!